Schools still out in Chicago for a 10th day striking teachers were outside public schools demanding smaller classes and better pay. A lack of education funding is one reason why there are more than 100,000 teacher vacancies nationwide. It's a huge number. And as Hillary Lane reports, some jobs are being filled from overseas. This group of women share meals and live together to save money. We have the same reasons why we're here. Sacrifice for the family and all our sacrifices, it's all worth it. They've come all the way from the Philippines to do a job fewer and fewer Americans want to do teach. I heard from my friend that there's uh, a massive hiring of teachers here in U.S. Back home, Andrea Loxine was making $400 a month. Here, she makes nine times more. She's one of eight teachers from overseas working at McGee Middle School in Tucson, Arizona. You know, this is a very big opportunity for me, a very big blessing. There are more than 1,400 teacher vacancies in Arizona this year. The state ranks 45th out of 50 when it comes to teacher salaries. The average public school teacher in America makes $60,000 a year. In Tucson, Arizona, it's 42000 So there's more vacancies than applicants. The pay isn't very attractive, where we finally decided that it would probably be time to look overseas. Dr. Gabriel Trujillo is the Tucson District Superintendent. He oversees the hiring of international teachers. How do teacher shortages affect the school district and then the children? So where you may have two classes of 18 or 19, if one of the classes doesn't have a highly qualified teacher due to the vacancy, now we have a single class at 38 students. Does it seem like the job of a teacher is being outsourced? Yes, definitely. In fact, I'm seeing a lot of that. Margaret Cheney is the president of the Tucson Public Educators Union. She helped lead a week-long teacher strike last year. You've brought in these other teachers, and now you've filled those holes. There's no reason to add more funding which is a problem for those of us that are left behind. Nationwide, there are more than 3,000 international teachers in U.S. classrooms, up 50 percent from 2014. I just love this one. The majority of those teachers come from the Philippines. Welcome to Tucson, huh? And we were there when another teacher arrived. When you see all of these smiling faces here to greet you, what were you thinking? <laughs> I am thinking that it's really great to be here in the United States. International teachers must have at least the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree and two years of teaching experience to qualify. But the process is expensive for them, costing $8,000 in sponsorship fees alone. Nora. Your piece is going to raise a lot of questions. Hillary, thank you.